Hi, I'm John Harold from Zytron. This video will show you how to create a page setup inside the Navigator Harlequin RIP. Page setups are used to configure the RIP for your specific output needs. Whether you are ripping jobs for output to computer to plate engines, image setters, or direct to screen printing machines, an individual page setup is used to get the results that you expect. There are three ways to get to the Page Setup Manager window. You can click on the button in the menu bar, you can go to the Navigator Page Setup Manager, or you can press Control S. In any case, the Page Setup Manager appears and looks like this. From here, you can create a new page setup, view or edit existing ones, or copy an existing one to make minor changes and resave it, which is sometimes faster than creating new ones. Let's start by creating a new page setup for 1-bit TIFF output. Click the New button, and the Page Setup Configuration window appears. You can see that it is divided into sections for output device selection, separations and screening options, calibration and dot gain, resolution, processing, effects, and scaling. Since this is an overview, we'll only touch on the most important settings. First, select the output device from the drop-down menu. These choices will vary depending on how your RIP is licensed. We're going to select TIFF for our output. Notice that there are additional settings involved in TIFF output accessed through the Configure Device button. Here's where you'll tell the RIP where to write your TIFF files. Next, select your separation styles. We're going to rip the job into CMYK halftone separations for printing. We'll touch on trapping and calibration in other videos. Set the resolution required here. We'll put ours at 2400 dpi. Other effects that may be selected depending on your output needs might be negative, mirror image, or rotation. When you have the settings correct for your needs, click Save As. Give the page setup a name that is descriptive for its use and click OK. Your page setup is now configured, and you can rip jobs accordingly. As we mentioned earlier, you can always go back and edit a page setup if you need to make a change. Or you can copy an existing page setup and make minor changes instead of creating a new one from scratch. Let's copy the one we just made and change the resolution to a higher setting. We'll make our change and click Save As, calling the setup something slightly different so that we recognize how it should be used. Click OK to collapse the Page Setup Manager, and you are through configuring the output.